James Locke, John Locke, and my aim is pretty good. How did I get this on the plane? I checked it. There's only so much food in that plane. And if we have any chance of surviving at all, it's going to be hunting. We'll see a couple piglets around this island, which means there's a big wild boar, about 200 pounds nearby. I'm going to catch it. I'm going to hunt it down. And then we're going to eat. Any of you have hunting experience? You. What's your name? Yeah. If you wanna come out and to the jungle, not for the faint of heart hunting. I've got two. I'm gonna teach you how to survive, you know. How to really use what we need on this island. Alright, the rest of you will be back. Let's go. So, the chances of us being rescued. miles off the discourse so I don't think they're gonna know where to search. What did you say your name was again? Right, right. Well, I've looked into the eyes of this island and it was beautiful. Yeah. I was about to go out in a hunting trip in Australia. This island, this is this is magical. We're not here by coincidence. See, I'm a man of faith, you're a man of science, but this island shows you it's destiny. I'm gonna rough these up. hands just to hold them right up a little bit. Hmm. All right. Now, to survive out here, you need a compass. You need a knife. And you definitely need something nutritious. We're going to get some meat, but until then, all of us just survived a plane crash with very limited injuries. Mm. Well, you know, it's your prerogative. But let's just say, even if it was impossible, just imagine that it could be on this island surprise you. Just gonna mix up some glue real quick. Put our bow 
and arrows together. Knives are great if you are up close, but what if we see something coming at us, you know? Yeah. Make this out of coconut. We're gonna just go ahead and brush some of this glue. Just hold it right here and just swipe it down. Well, luckily for me, when I woke up from the crash, I had a newfound energy. So I was able to collect this wood and I think this will be a good shot nice and clean. Well, I don't think you should tell anybody back on the island what we're doing out here. They might start to ask questions and then... Hmm. Are you sure you want to do that? Well, you had a little bit of a bump on your head, so I just put a little, a little healer protector to protect your wounds. Are you okay? Sounds like maybe you had a bad dream just now. Hmm. And what did you see? Hmm. How did that make you feel? Really? did was show you things in a different way how you want to see them now we're gonna go back to the hatch I don't think we should tell anybody about Not even your sister. Hmm. What happens? I need some more waters. Uh, I've seen him do some things. I've been seeing life. Everybody has choices. And he has to make his own choice. Let's keep moving to the hatch. Here it is. No. This hatch is... 
different. It's more concrete. Let me see the knife over here. Hmm. Looks like there's a little bit of um. Michelangelo, his father, said you're never going to work with your hands. Joe said a mine is going to work with his hands. So he just started thinking outside the box and looking at other ways, you know, to build something great. He turned that slab of marble into something beautiful, work of art, just by looking. We have to sit here and look at this. We'll figure a way to open it out. You know what? Ordinary man. Meat and potatoes. Don't believe much in magic. But this island. Something special. Yeah, just we're not here by coincidence. It's destiny. Why are you out here? don't know that they're crazy. So what if you're hallucinating? What if you aren't? People are looking for a leader. But a leader can't lead if he doesn't know where he's going. this hatch. Tie up the string and you're gonna propel me down. Don't tell me what I can't do. I want you to focus on my eyes. Focus on my my nose. Focus on my nose and tell me which side of the light out of your peripheral you see. Okay. Jack may be the doctor. But what I learned they can't teach you at school. I want to show you something. Looks cute. I'm going to enter a code, but I'm going to need you to push the button.
two-person job, I'm going to need you to push the button. Just the execute button right there before the clock strikes down. You have to do it. You have to push the button. being tested. Every day I could help you out every day because what's struggling is nature's way of strengthening you. And I believe you're going to have the strength. Now, I'll have to take turn pushing these numbers just one way of looking at it. What I put on your head back there, this isn't it. What I put on your head back there was. can be used as glue, yes, that's not a lie, but it's ayahuasca. You could look at it that way, or you could look at it as me giving you a gift. a little different. Now let some of that. This right here. Partly found it in the hatch. It's actually Greek yogurt. Have some, you don't have to tell the rest in the group. You know, no one else knows this code. Not even Jack. You're stronger than you think you are. Trip, you just you really showed who you were. And for that I'm gonna entrust you with holding this. Uh, and the others they have their guns and their weapons, but we have knowledge. Their strength and mindfulness. I don't know much about prayer. Do you know about purpose on this on this planet on this life there are things we wish we could get back things we regret sometimes I wish I could get my kidney back have a relationship with my father but I have a far greater destiny and so do you beyond your sister beyond helping your family you're meant to be here. This wasn't an accident. Remember that. We're gonna take these.
climb our way out of here with just our strength. I still have a little bit of rope. We can go ahead and toss it on up and propel ourselves up. Are you ready? Oh. That door opens. How did you know that? Well, in that case, we don't need these. We'll keep them down here. We'll just say the boar ran scarce. Couldn't catch one today. Just go out the front door, that seems a little easier. It's about 108. I think we should push the code a couple more times just to be sure. They're building an army, and they don't want us to join, that's their prerogative, but we gotta be prepared for war. I also want to give you this, so you always have the right direction to go. I don't need it. My heart tells me what direction to go. the road. Um, 